What's going on, everybody? My name is Jade Fox. This is the Major Looks channel. I was about to film the voiceovers for the looks that you're going to see in this video. And this video is five no fail. I don't even know where the got five no fail summer fits. I'm gonna explain why each of them is a no fail, so don't even worry about that. But I wanted to do a quick little intro, introducing the video, but also kind of explaining what my definition of a no fail fit is, especially during the summertime. One, it's gotta be comfortable. Two, it's gotta be breathable, or at least like show some bit of skin. There needs to be some skin hitting the breeze a little. And three, it just looks good. It'll look good on most people. So that is my definition of a no fail fit. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into these looks. Light layers are going to be your friends during the summertime. We get uh, a little bit of a break, you know, especially during nighttime. And then sometimes during the day, like it'll give you a nice little mid 70s, a little mid 70s action. And so you can, get, you can get away with a vest, a light cardigan, button downs are also really good. And these are just like ways that you can layer without making yourself hot. So for this outfit, I have just a plain like a crew. I think that's the color of the name of the color of this vest. This graphic tee that I've had for forever. It's one of my favorites. Black shorts and then my Air Jordan ones. Um, I know that these don't really match 100%, but I kind of like that they don't match 100%. Either way, it works. A button down and shorts. This is uh, a white man's uniform, but it's also a vibe. Um, Y'all have been asking me to do more of like business casual kind of um, slightly more appropriate for being around coworkers or like a work event type of thing. And so this is my way of doing it, but with more of a street casual kind of vibe to it. Obviously, if you lose the hat and maybe tuck in the shirt, uh, you'll have definitely more of that business casual look. I love the look of a button down shirt with a baseball cap. It's very clean looking to me. It kind of reminds me of Russell Simmons, which isn't great, but it's a vibe. It's a look. Also kind of reminds me of golf, a Tiger Woods drip, if you will. Bermuda shorts are pretty classic in my opinion, especially when paired with a looser or a more relaxed top. It kind of gives you that um ease easiness kind of vibe in your outfit i think this outfit would go absolutely nuts if i had black bermuda shorts and a black hat and like black sunglasses with a black bag yeah it's giving you know mall trip and i'm ready to to throw some bands you know this won't be for everyone, but mesh, crochet, light knits can be really breathable fabrics as they have literal holes in them. Um, I may have found probably the most modest mesh shirt of all time. When I walk, I can feel the air, you know, on my belly and my arms. Um, it's actually kind of trippy, but you can wear mesh layers underneath button downs, underneath little light jackets too, just in case you're not comfortable, um, you know, having the whole body out. Like I completely understand. I think mesh can have whatever kind of vibe you want. This is more of a vacation-y kind of summery vibe, but I've seen mesh looks that are more dramatic uh, or chic or edgy. Mesh, crochet, a light knit, something that has a lot of like holes in it. Um, it just adds a nice little texture to an outfit. Uh, also wearing mesh says a lot about a person's confidence, depending on how much you want to show. And so I think that summertime, is probably the perfect time to step out in some mesh. This is my go-to pretty much every day in the summertime, a tank top with big pants. And when I say big pants, I don't mean heavy pants. So the pants that I have on here, um, they are denim and so, but they do have room in them. So I do get a little bit of breeze there. Um, you could also throw on like a nice little sandal and have even more breeze if you wanted to do that. Uh, your pants could be a harem pant, cargo pant, whatever kind of big pants you have that aren't super heavy. This is one of those like I don't want to wear shorts, but I also don't want to be hot looks. As y'all know, if you've been on this channel before, I live for a muscle tank. It's pretty much my go-to, like I said, in the summertime because I'm able to get off my little androgynous look, but also, you know, be breezy, have the arms out, have the guns out, you feel. And this silhouette, regardless if you decide to go a little uh, more fitted in the tank top, uh, or more looser like I did. I think the juxtaposition of kind of that bigger pant on the bottom with a slinky or fitted 
or just you know an easy kind of fitting tank top just works every time okay this is the pumpkin spice latte of menswear outfits it is how zara makes 70 percent of their revenue during the summertime a short sleeve collar with a nice little slim pant and then a loafer it's basic as fuck and it's overdone but it's that popular because it just works it looks good like things that are basic are basic sure but they become that way because they're so popular and because there's clearly something about them that people gravitate towards and so that's what we're doing for this fit um this is actually a pajama shirt that i got from old navy but you know the way i styled it it still kind of looks like a pajama shirt from old navy but it's also a vibe pajama shirts from old navy can be a vibe all right y'all hope that you like this video go and let, go ahead and let me know if you actually do any of these fits during the summertime i pretty much wear the same thing and i just cycle it out because i don't want when you're hot you don't really want to think you're agitated you know so let me know what you thought of these outfits uh more content coming y'all already know go ahead and subscribe and like the videos do all that good stuff and then i'll see y'all in another one bye <laughs>